Lithuania to demand Belarus airspace closed to international flights. Here's a summary of the article. The Lithuanian government will seek that Belarus airspace be closed to international flights after the Belarusian government forced a Vilnius-bound flight to land in Minsk in an act of state terrorism. Lithuania will demand a clear and uncompromising response from the international community, to Sunday's diversion of the Ryanair flight, the government said in a statement. The airspace of Belarus is unsafe for everyone. The EU must take effective measures to protect all individuals, regardless of their nationality, who are at risk from inadequate actions of the regime, it said. Together with international partners, we will work to close the airspace of Belarus to international flights, it said. What happened today is an attack not only on Lithuania, it is a signal for the entire European Union and international organizations. The statement denounced Belarus actions as an act of state terrorism directed against the security of citizens of the European Union and other countries, civil society of Belarus seeking asylum from the regime's persecution, as well as international civil aviation. The Ryanair flight, scheduled to arrive in Vilnius at 1300 on Sunday, changed course just before crossing into Lithuanian airspace. This post received a score of 15,000, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I don't really understand what Belarus is trying here. Surely the dissident isn't dangerous enough to cause this incident. I'm not sure this is not Russia testing the waters to see if they can pull off a similar thing in their own airspace without too much backlash. Belarus will be sanctioned and pushed closer to Moscow. That's what Russia get out of it. This is the answer. All comments I see on this thread are being, rightly, emotional but rather short-sighted. The long game is exactly to isolate Belarus so it's an easier Russian grab. I wouldn't be surprised if this is Russia's response to the Lublin Triangle as a direct attempt to weaken the recently enforced ties between Poland, Lithuania, and Ukraine. Greater than the Lublin Triangle, Lithuanian. Liublino Tricampus, Polish. Trojkat Lebelski, Ukrainian. Trikutnik Romanized. Liublinski Trikutnik is an economic, cultural, and political regional cooperation initiative of three European countries. Lithuania, Poland, and Ukraine, for the purposes of strengthening mutual military, cultural, and economic cooperation and supporting Ukraine's integration into the European Union. The Lublin Triangle Initiative invokes the integrative heritage of the 1569 Union of Lublin. Next time Lukashenko is flying over the EU they should return the favor. For that, you would have to create another nice little dictatorship on the other side of the EU, and the leader of that other dictatorship would have to promise Lukashenko some money. Then maybe he'll fly there. Otherwise, not a chance. We could use the the principle of universal jurisdiction to arrest him the very moment he leaves Belarus or Russia just like the Spanish judge Garzan did with Pinochet. Greater than General Augusto Pinochet was indicted for human rights violations committed in his native Chile by Spanish magistrate Baltasar Garzón on 10 October 1998. He was arrested in London six days later and held on house arrest for a year and a half before being released by the British government in March 2000. Authorized to return to Chile, Pinochet was subsequently indicted by Judge Juan Guzman Tapia and charged with several crimes. He died on 10 December 2006 without having been convicted. Better yet, deny Belarus aircraft permission to fly over any European or Western country's airspace. Their only option is to fly over Russia. I imagine the last 24 hours has been pretty rough for the dissident journalist, too. They're working him over for any reason they can hold up as justifiable. Someone needs to help that guy. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.